Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After creating an accountant's copy of your company file, you must import your accountant's changes back into your company file later on to restore full functionality to your original company file. If your accountant sends you a file, open your company file and insert the copy of the changes your accountant gave to you on the removable media, meaning a DVD-ROM, CD-ROM, or flash drive, and then select File, then Send Company File, then Accountant's Copy, then Import Accountant's Changes from File from the menu bar. You must make a backup before you can import the accountant's changes, so make a backup file when prompted to do so by QuickBooks. Then navigate to the folder or drive that contains the file with the changes and double-click the file to open it and import the changes. The Accountant's Changes pending message in the title bar of the company will then disappear. That means that you have successfully imported the changes. If you receive the changes from the Internet using the File Transfer feature, you will receive an email from your accountant informing you that the changes to the accountant's copy are complete and that you have changes to import. At that point, you have 30 days to import the accountant's changes into your company file. To download these changes, open your company file. Select File, then Send Company File, then Accountant's Copy, then Import Accountant's Changes from the Web from the menu bar. After the download is completed, you will see a listing of the accountant's changes appear within your company file. Note that the Accountant's Changes Pending message also will disappear from the title bar of the company file at that time. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.